Welcome back everyone. Today we're in London. We're going to the London Dungeons. We have been here many times before. Well, I've been here once. You've been more than once, haven't you? Yeah, no, I've been here once. Did you have the Great Fire of London when you came? Yes. That's no longer here. Oh, okay. They've changed it since Paul's last year, so Paul's getting new things this time. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. Let's go check it out. So that was the London Dungeons. The first thing is, before we went in there, I was like, oh, Paul's not seen it since the uh, Great Fire of London bit's gone. Yeah, I haven't. That witch thing was not the witch thing I thought it was going to be. I know okay. we were separated. Yeah. Uh, there's, no... there's a witch thing at the end of Orton Towers. Yeah. Which there's is a witch different. thing on Palace. I think there was a, used to be a different witch thing. Maybe it was one of the Halloween witch events Why they do it? something. They do a different thing at Halloween there, like a special room. I wonder if I've seen a witch thing there with that. Because that's what I... Yeah. Because that's actually in the Great Fire of London room. It jumps like towards the end of it there, but yeah. I mean, it was nice having something that was completely new for me. It was new for me, but only because it was done here. But I mean, the last, like, like Darren mentioned, the last time I see the witch one being done was at Alton Towers. And it's a very similar... Um, Use of effects? Yeah, I mean, yeah. the jumping up around. I think the difference between the one in Alton Towers and the one here is they use lightning effects, not only for like, the lightning, but they were doing it for like her transforming into the witch and stuff. Yeah, like when she's getting around, yeah. So, so I know where you saw it, there's a picture of King James, uh, picture yes. of King James in the wall. Did you see the, the scratch marks? Scratch marks, yes. yeah, down it. Very good. Really good. Very cool. Oh, so, yeah. Paul got put in the dock. Yes, Paul got put in the dock at the very end. Paul got targeted. I'm guilty for being from Romford. Yep. Yeah, that was it, and sentenced to death. Um, I mean, but you, you got away with it, you didn't go on the drop ride. No, I didn't. Yeah. I'm, I'm quite clever with that. Yeah. I did. I took um, a knife with me. We, kind of, we, we jumped to the end, so we're going to go to the beginning. To the beginning. Okay, yeah. Yeah. So actually, as soon as we arrive, there's, you, if you come in busy periods, there's like a long queue you can take, which we didn't do. And I just happened to mention, you know, if you go come in busy, you, know, you can go down there. And there was a woman who worked there, stood in the dark, could not see her. Could you see her? No. no. He was like, oh, if you want to go down there, you can go down there. And we just walked around the rest of the queue to see all the little plaques on the wall and... Gives you a bit of history, yeah. a bit of an idea as to what you're about to walk into. Yeah. Rattling doors, um, yeah. banging doors, yeah, yeah there's a bit of sound. Chris did join us, Chris is here. Hello. There Hello. we go. Oh, do you actually want to be in the vlog or do you want to be... I'm just a background, ca he's, background cameo. He's background cameo, there we go. Chris did join us along with Anna and her friend who are now off having lunch. So as soon as you get in there, when they, um, when they... When Jester talks to you. And it's great, if you if you mention that you're gonna if you're a traitor to King James, you're skipping the boat ride and it's broken. If they say you're a traitor to King Henry, you get to do the boat ride. We got the boat ride. We did go. Yeah, that's been broken. Was it do you have you been on it before? Yeah, because like yeah, it breaks a lot, I think. I think last time I was here they did major maintenance on it, so maybe they fixed that issue. Um, but it's like because you get Brian Blessed being King Henry VIII, which I yes. think is absolutely ace. As soon as you hear the voice, you know it's Brian Blessed. And you're so like, good. <laughs> yeah, oh god, he's about to kill us. Yeah, no, I love this dungeon. I think, yeah, losing the Great Fire 
because such a London thing is quite sad. Yeah. But also, the witch is a London-based witch, Although, so that's quite cool. I don't know if you noticed it, but I can still smell that the fire. fiery smell. Yeah, yeah, I think the whole build just smells. I think it's also the smoke effects that you could be. Yeah, have a similar smell to it. But instead, it just had a very bit of. That was what triggered it for me. When I like, I, yeah. I re remember. I like I remember it, but because of that smell, yeah, it triggered a memory for me. Yeah, and that's kind of. It's real cool. I think I think it's just the smoke machines. I think yeah. they give a very distinct smell. Um, yeah, I still really like the Sweeney Todd bit. I think originally I was a bit like, oh, this isn't real history. This is like fictitious, mm -hmm. but actually, it works. Yeah, it works. I mean, it was really fun. Can't um, deny that. I mean, I will point out it isn't as scary as I remember it first time. I thought I, I think I was a little bit more panicked the first time around, but it's because I didn't know what to expect. Yeah. But this time around, I found even with the jump scares, even with everything that was going on, I knew it was coming to an extent. Um, and you never know if you're going to get picked for any of it either. That's a good point. Did you notice the window that shakes in one of the corridors? I didn't notice it. I don't know if I was just there at the wrong time. It didn't go off. The window that usually makes us jump. I can't remember, no. But then again, it's the same sort of thing with the corpse in the doctor's plague doctor's yeah. room as you exit there's a body on a table yes it inside. sits up does it yeah i did not know that i've never seen that happen no but we see okay we, i heard it go and we, we see it lay back down this way you keep going back there's always little things in the background it's so good did you see the dead cat yes there's a dead cat it's Just, quite sad that's, that's the sad bit yeah i don't care about all the dead people the dead cat that's, that's sad uh, <laughs> Yeah, I think some of my favourite bit is probably Jack the Ripper. The fact that the actress is Mary Jane Kelly. Yeah. Obviously the final victim. That's really cool. Like a real historical figure in there uh, that she's playing. That ties in nicely to yeah, the Yeah, and whole I think story. obviously where it sort of leads up to her escorting us out. Yeah. It's like her final moment before. Yeah, that's her. it. Before she gets got. So that's really good. And obviously then you go to the pub and it's like a year later. It's like, oh no, she's dead. It's like, oh, but that's who we were just talking to. <laughs> yeah, no, I love this dungeon. I mean, it's, lo it's the longest of the dungeons in the UK. I will mention, I think you mentioned it while we were in there, but you get to see Jack, obviously. Yes! You know what? I, things you don't notice in the background. When the lightning flashes in the Jack the Ripper bit where you're talking to Mary Jane Kelly, in the background you can see a mannequin of Jack, but you only see it when the lightning is flashing. Yeah. And I was like, and she keeps sort of looking over. That's why I looked. Yeah. Because she kept sort of looking over every time it flashed. And I was like, there's obviously something over there. So I sort of trained myself to look over. And as it's flashed, you could see him and you're like, that's what she's looking at. I've never noticed that before. And it's another thing. I think there's something else I noticed that I hadn't seen before. I can't remember what it was though. Yeah. Um, there's loads of information all about yeah, it, it's, it's hard to so remember good. it all because it, you do get berated with a lot of information all at once. Yeah. No, it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yeah, I say the longest one in the UK. It might be the longest one in the world, I don't know, because you've got Amsterdam as well. I imagine the Amsterdam Amsterdam is quite long. I will make a point, when we first go in, and yeah. you're going to lift and take us down to the dungeon, yeah. I feel like the not in a sense, but like a full shutter, shutter. Yeah. instead of doing the whole light show. Yeah. I feel like they should have done a shudder. It is a functioning lift, that's probably why they can't do it. But it still would have Yeah, it would have been really cool. Yeah, because when I first ever did that, I was expecting it to be like... Just to give yeah. you a sort of a jump scare as you're going down. At the very beginning, the yeah. The lights were okay, but obviously the jump well, scare would have made it... I suppose you're thinking like in the Jack... Not the Jack the Ripper. Uh, Gunpowder plot bit, when yeah. he blows up the well, barrels. Yeah. That, yeah. the first time I ever was in that room, I was like, oh my god, did not expect that. Well, that's really good. I mean, I'm, I'm glad we're, we're, where we were stood when that happened. I'm glad I picked an area where there's a smoke machine that blows straight into the crowd. Oh yeah. And there was two people right in front of us and as soon as the explosion went off and the floor shook, a big puff of smoke just went boom, straight into them. <laughs> and we were just stood behind them, completely clear of it all. And we were just like, they just got a full face of smoke. I'm so glad I chose where I was sat. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's amazing. It's, I highly recommend Actually, I recommend every dungeon. I've not had a bad issue with any No, I don't think I have. I think I've enjoyed a lot of them. I mean, I've been on four now. No, three. Bourne Towers, York and here. Yeah, so yeah. three. I've done those in Edinburgh as well. Uh, Anna did get targeted here, actually. In um, Sweeney Todd, you wouldn't have seen because you were far back. She was the one who was asked, um, do you keep your perfume on you when she's trying to work, when she's yeah. trying to work out yeah. who, who's got what so they can yeah. steal a bunch of dead. So yeah. I think, yeah, both you and Anna got targeted this one. You got away with it, didn't you, Chris? You didn't know he got you. Um, the jester did point at him and said, I can see pain in your eyes. Oh, okay, so you got a yeah, minor yeah, interaction. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's kind of cool. Interaction. That's pretty cool. Yeah, no one got me this time. I was completely left alone. Again, I try and push myself to be out yeah. in it. Just yeah, to see just so, you just so I can sort of feel it's fun. that. On the boat bit, towards the beginning, with Henry VIII, 
ball did get targeted there as well. Yes, it was a bit of an odd one. Basically, we got asked how many was in our party. We said five. They put us all in. They said two in the front, one in the back, uh, one in the middle. Mud, yeah, one yeah. in the middle and two at the behind. Yeah. And basically, Darren opted to say, "Okay, I'll go in the back with Chris." Yeah, keep Chris company. So. Yeah. I first sat in the seat on my own, no problems whatsoever, to one side. All of a sudden, the, the lady, um, log ride person... The person charging right on the right, yeah, yeah. Uh, ...turns to me and says, would you mind sitting in the middle? I'm like, yeah, no problem. She went, I'm so sorry that you're all on your own. I'm like, well, it's not like I have a choice in the matter. There's five of us, and he's decided to sit with my brother. <laughs> So, in which case, I started to get a bit sassy with it all. Yeah. And she was like, I can understand why they decided not to sit with you. <laughs> and I took offence to it. It was brilliant. And then I was, was like, it's alright. He's got to sit with my brother. I'm fine with that. Yeah, and then because obviously you went to go to your execution, like Anne Boleyn and all that, uh, they asked Paul if he had any last words. And, and I Paul, just said, screw you. Yeah, but back to me and Chris. Then they took it themselves, the two staff members, like, what did they say to you? They said, uh, we're going to uh, get them to cut your lips off first. That was it, yeah. I was like, why? I was telling them to screw off, not you. <laughs> I think they just wanted you to shut up. <laughs> I wasn't going to shut up. They could have got the tongue tear out there. You're going to the torture soon, aren't you? I highly recommend any dungeons, really. I'm sure we're trying to get some more at some point, Blackpool and all those. But London, I think, of all of them, for me, is the best I've ever done. Possibly. Do you think? We've done York, York was very good. They're all very good, it's hard to compare, isn't it? I mean, I enjoyed the York one just because it was an 18 plus adult sort of version. Oh, yeah, we went for the proper one, didn't we? Yeah, okay, that was Ace. If you can ever do the 18 plus ones they do, like, they're rare, but that is so much funnier. I mean, these are still very funny, but that's like a new level of funny. Yeah, I mean, they plus. can sort of, I think we've mentioned it before in the vlog, like on that day, Yeah. where I just don't know, I said they sort of go all out and they do put a lot of effort into making you feel not just uncomfortable, but part of what they're trying to get you to do. Yeah. Like, with a lot of them, especially like with the torture and stuff like that, you're expected to sort of, like for instance, bend over and up yeah, goes the pair. the pair. But obviously, in, I think in the, in the adult version that we see in York, the torture not only gets you to do that, but instead of sort of just like a normal scream, he's expecting you to moan and groan. Oh yeah, that was you're it. Was enjoying like, it. Yeah, that was hilarious. And it's just he so took funny. that so he far, it lasted so long. Yeah, that was really good. Um, yeah, I suppose one last final thing. Some of the attractions here, like all of them, the Plague Doctor is the same as the other Plague Doctors. Um, Torture is the same. I suppose actually one thing Torture has here is they link it directly to King James, mm -hmm. the Gunpowder Bomb. So they do tie it straight to a, a historical event, whereas the other ones don't. Yeah. But that's only just like in the fluff of what's happening. It's just a shame that they don't have the London, great power of London. Yeah, I, I think that's great. But I've got to say, they've got to keep it interesting for all the locals, and they say they keep coming back. Can't keep having the same bits of history. I mean, it's so different to when you used to be back on Tooley Street, when it was like more of a museum with a mini tour of Jack the Ripper at the end. But yeah, no. Brilliant attraction. I think we'll leave it there. Thanks for us today, guys. Hope to see you for the next one. Bye. Bye.